Have you ever wondered how influencers are able to stay crazily consistent on Instagram? How are they able to pump out content left and right every single day? Maybe you've heard of something called a content calendar, but let's be honest, you're not the best at keeping track of days and you haven't been able to stick to a planner once. Don't worry, you don't need to be a physical planner type of person to get an Instagram calendar started. And I can't wait to share with you what I've been using for the past four years and how it's helped me. What's up everyone, it's Modern Millie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel where I post videos every Wednesday teaching you the latest strategies and trends on social media to help influencers, bloggers, and content creators grow their brands. So give a little love tap on that subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest tips and tricks and save yourself some sanity. First, I wanna say a huge thank you to this video's shout outs. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. If you wanna get a shout out in one of my future videos, screenshot yourself watching this video and tag me on Instagram stories or leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel. As always, timestamps will be in the comments below because I know how valuable your time is and you already know why you're here. So let's get into it. This is my third video of my Trello series here on my channel. So if you have not seen my how to use Trello for beginners video, pause this video, go give it a watch and come right back. Because since I've already taught the basic functions of Trello in this video, we are going to start implementing what we've learned. Welcome to Trello video number three. <laughs> Let's just do all that over. Welcome to Trello video number three, how to create an Instagram content calendar. So what is Trello? Now, I have to warn you, I'm about to say some really scary words right now, but don't be scared, I will explain. Trello is a web-based Kanban style list-making app used to keep track and organize everything from big picture to small minute details. Okay, now let's go over the scary word, <laughs> Kanban. Say it with me, Kanban. It becomes less scarier the more you say it. Having been a project manager when I worked a nine to five, we used the Kanban process for managing our work as it moved through a process. So the simplified version of this would be an over glorified organized to-do list. <laughs> now, what is a content calendar? This is a written schedule of when and where you plan to publish upcoming content. This is typically used by bloggers who post across multiple social media channels, but let's be real. It is challenging enough to juggle all the different type of content you have to post on Instagram that it deserves its own content calendar. I created one that has helped me stay consistent, be ahead and not stress out. Now that we know a little bit of background, let's make our content calendar. Now I have my laptop in front of me and I do wanna remind you that Trello is available on both desktop and your phone. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to use my laptop because that is what I am most comfortable with. But Trello is great to have on my phone as well for when I am out and about and on the go. We are in the boards page. I'm gonna start fresh for you guys. So we're gonna create a brand new board for our Instagram content calendar. And then after I will show you my current Instagram content calendar, I don't wanna start off with my personal one uh, because there's a lot of stuff on it and it might overwhelm you because it's a very, very busy board. So we're gonna start fresh and create our own. In the top right corner, the plus sign creates our new board. And we're gonna title this Instagram content calendar. First things first with your content calendar, use it as a brain dump. Any and every idea that you have, get it all out of your brain, dump it onto your Trello board. I've always found that when I have a sort of brain dump place or kind of like throw up all the information somewhere, then my brain is free to actually create. It's free from all of this information that it's been holding on to, and then it's able to function normally and create new ideas, new concepts, new content, because it's not holding on to all of the ideas that I still have. So first you're gonna to wanna to brain dump all the ideas that you have on your content calendar. For me, I like to keep track of all of my caption ideas. You can even do shoot ideas, reels ideas. Also, if you create any sort of long form content on your Instagram page, such as IGTVs, or if you have weekly or monthly lives, you could put all of your future ideas for that in here as well. For me, I do something called Topic Tuesday, where every Tuesday I go live on my Instagram and I go over whatever topic you guys choose. So make sure you're following me on Instagram to join my Topic Tuesdays. So I'm gonna put a Topic Tuesday episodes. We're gonna create a scheduled one and a done one. I also wanna remind you that Trello is totally customizable to whatever makes sense for you. I prefer to organize them by ideas and sections, but if you wanna organize them by doing week, 
one, two, three, four. I know a lot of content calendars do have this flow, so you can definitely plan out your content through week one, through week two, through week three and four, and then you can add dates and view them in an actual calendar, which I'll show you in a second. But remember, Trello is customizable for whatever the user prefers, whatever is most visually pleasing and makes sense for your brain, and that's something that I really, really love about this application. Um, I'm going to get rid of my those lists because I'm just going to use this as an example. Week four. Boom. Shoot ideas. A lot of the times when you're on Instagram, or at least I know for me when I'm on Instagram, I'll come across somebody who created a shot that I just am in love with, or they do a really creative photo shoot day. On Instagram, I will save that photo into a folder called shoot ideas. And then at the end of every week or whenever I remember to do so, I'll look through that folder and I'll dump all of the photo shoot ideas onto this board. Say Thanksgiving is coming up and you wanna do a few fall shoots, you're gonna do So you can add photo attachments to each card to kind of keep track of those photo shoot ideas. Now moving on, I like to do my caption ideas. If I come across somebody else that had a really great idea or if I'm just trying to go to bed and for some reason I can't sleep and all of my good ideas come before I fall asleep, then I'll put all my caption ideas here. So that happens to me all the time. But for a caption idea, I could say, Okay, so I just put all of my ideas in here and then when I'm ready to type the caption, I will open up that section and type my caption here. It could be as long as you want, as short as you want, but this is where I write all of my captions. I like to type my captions out using the laptop because it's a lot faster. And then I'll open the Trello app on my phone, copy, paste it to Instagram and I'm good. Also, I highly recommend if you guys have not hopped on Reels, you definitely need to do so. I do have a Reels tutorial if you guys are curious for how to post and create Instagram Reels. I also am going to be posting a new Reels related video every single week for the month of November on Sundays. So make sure you are subscribed and you turn on that bell notification because in November I'll actually be posting twice a week. Okay, so for your Reels ideas, you could do, so if I have a posing tips caption, I can create a posing tips video where I'm posing. <laughs> so I could combine posing tips or if you're more of a, I don't know why I always go into like the foodie or the food blogger examples whenever I do these sorts of videos, but for if you're a food blogger, <laughs> you could do like, but all of your Reels ideas there, and then all of my Topic Tuesdays episodes, so blah, 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 blah. Great, so now that you have brain dumped all of your information onto your Trello board, what you're going to do is you're gonna now plan out your content. And this is where the week one, week two, week three, and week four columns can come in handy for you. Something that I like to do is I will attach dates to the cards and move it over to scheduled. So let me show you what I mean. So if I have a shoot scheduled, I'm gonna move this over. If I have three captions ready to go and I can attach the photos that go with that caption and one reel ready to go up and one Topic Tuesday episode ready to go up, what I am going to do is I'm going to schedule them. So my photo shoot is scheduled for next weekend. So when you do have things scheduled, there's a really cool view on Trello. You can go to the calendar view. If this is not here for you, you're gonna go to the show menu button. It'll look like this. And what you're going to do is you're gonna click power ups. In the power up section, you are going to search for calendar and you could have one power up per board if you have the free version of Trello. So I would search up calendar and then this add button, I would press add for calendar and then it'll appear for you. So then you click the calendar view and everything that's scheduled will show up in the calendar. This is a view that is really helpful for content calendars. And what's also really great about it is if you want to reschedule something, you can actually click and drag the item and it'll update the date for you. All right, and then once all of those are posted, you can check them off and drag them over to the done section. Then rinse and repeat. Now I'm going to hop into my Instagram content calendar and show you guys what that one looks like. Now that you kind of have an understanding of the general flow that I like to follow with my content calendars, um, so that way you're not a little <laughs> overwhelmed when you see how crazy mine is. It's a little crazy. <laughs> so all of my caption ideas are here and when you click on one of these, 
you can see that I already put the caption in here and it's ready to go. So when I'm ready to post about this specific topic, then I could just copy and paste this caption onto my Instagram. And then I have all of my reels ideas here. The title is on the outside of the card and then all of the detailed information or anything that I need to know for myself, I put it inside of the card under the description. For a little bit, I was trying to plan out the content like this where I said Monday through Friday and then in feed was my wedding photo. Reels was the new reels feature video that I made. Not sure how I feel about it. I actually like the other way better with the calendar view. This is just something new that I was trying and not the biggest fan of it. So what I would do is just, I would assign any of these a date, drag it over to planned, and then that way I could click calendar and have that view of everything I have planned. When it's all done, as you can see, this section is a little bit longer. This is everything that I've already planned in my Instagram and everything that is live up and running. So that's the general idea of how I use Trello to create an Instagram content calendar. The importance of having a content calendar is that you're able to work ahead and think ahead so that you could be present and focus on what you need to do now that will benefit your business and your growth. I'm sure we have all had those moments where we wake up and we realize our post time is coming up and we have no idea what to post, no idea what the caption is going to say, and we panic and we freak out. And that sort of reaction to having to post on Instagram is not healthy for your relationship with Instagram. When you have a plan, it takes the stress off of your shoulders and you're able to find joy in your business again. Is having a content calendar something that you already have in your business or is this a new concept that you want to adapt or you're hoping to adapt? I want to know your thoughts on this and how this video may have helped you. Let me know in the comments below and I'd love to hear your feedback on what sort of videos I should make with this Trello series in the future. Now if you've made it this far, <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. You have hung in there. You are a real one. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you have that bell notification on because like I said, this month in November, I am posting twice a week. Every week there will be a new Reels related video out. And on top of that, I'll also be posting more content about Instagram insights, Amazon products that every influencer needs and so much more. So make sure that notification bell is turned on so you don't miss those posts. All right, everybody, that is everything that I have for you today. I hope you found some of this information in this video helpful and useful for you and your business. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Follow your joy. Bye.